<laughs> All right, uh, Lee, we're going to stick with the thrills and the chills and the jump scares because there's no better place for that than a roadside rest stop. Oh. Nothing good happens there unless, of course, we're talking no exit. Yeah, No Exit is the film, and it's uh, Hannah Rose Liu, and I love her. She is this character that is in rehab, and while she's in rehab, she gets a call that something is wrong with her mother, but she cannot leave the rehab facility. So, of course, she breaks out in a snowstorm only to get stuck at this lodge with this group of strangers. This film also stars Dennis Haysbert, remember him from 24, and, and Dale Dickey. And they are part of a crew of people that are in stuck at a lodge together. And she finds out that one of the person, one person there has in the back of her van, a little girl. Take a look. Do you have the Wi-Fi? No, there's no Wi-Fi. I got one bar by the tree for about 10 seconds. So then, of course, just to figure out whose van this is, why is this little girl trapped? So many things. It's a, it's not a psychological thriller. It's just a dramatic thriller, but it is well done. It's taken from a novel of the same name. And as the story plays out, and I really am strict about giving anything away, I will give nothing away. But as the story plays out, it takes twists and turns that I did not expect. Now, you know you go into these kinds of movies, and we've seen this, everybody trapped somewhere before, and you think, well, that's going to happen, that's going to happen. I was surprised with some of the twists and turns. It does end in a place that is a little bit predictable, but it's satisfying because of the way that it gets there. No exit is a little bit bloody, a little, little gory, but it is worth the time. And it's the perfect stream on Hulu. Once again, I think this one went without notice. Uh, a lot of people didn't realize that this movie was released when it, when it came out. And it is one that you can get the family together couple of jump scares and it's a good time with your uh, Jiffy Pop. Lee, I'm so happy you said uh, no spoilers because I was on the red carpet. I covered the red carpet premiere mm. for No mm -hmm. Exit. I talked to all of the stars. They were all very lovely, all dressed up and looked great, but it was so hard to talk to them because they were just like you. They're like, well, I can't give you any spoilers, so I can just tell you the basics, Patrick, about what No Exit is about. But like, they, they were like, there's twists and turns, and it it, is. I, was, I was just, I'm ready to see what it is. Yeah, and I was surprised that the twists and turns, you know, I, I've been in a Critics' Choice, I've been there for 15, 20 years. I've seen a lot of movies, and usually I go, I, you know, you can kind of guess your way through. A couple of things happened here I really wasn't expecting, which was a pleasant, scary surprise. So for people who are, are into that kind of thriller, uh, this kind of thriller, uh, I think you'll be surprised with where it goes. Is it the best one in the world? No, I'm not telling you to pay 15, 20 bucks and go to the theaters. I'm telling you it's on Hulu and it's <laughs> worth the time if you have Hulu. And the so, price is right. That's what you're saying, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, but how, okay, but how long is it? <laughs> Once again, <laughs> Once again, it's right. Around, I think this was just over an hour, an hour and a half. So it's not it's not a long movie as well. I'm really into short and sweet. I think a lot of movies go overboard. Oh, Batman. But some movies, you know, you know, they, they come in right on time. And this one to me came in right on time. Unlike I, mean, I like to, you know, I like to I like to be able to feel my my behind after watching a movie. And it's in yes, 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 so, yes, yes. Uh, did you read the book? No, I'm big on just watching the movie. Uh, I know that sounds terrible. I did not read the book. I read more biographies and autobiographies. So no, I did not read the book, but uh, the movie was very satisfying. Here's my philosophy, Audrey. Why read the book when you know a movie might come out one day? <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. That's, what, uh, that's exactly how I feel. Thank you. <laughs> well, I guess, this is the, yeah. I mean, why, why bother, right? They're just gonna... Reading. Gonna, yeah, reading. Why reading. All those words and stuff. I mean, and, uh, come on. Words are hard. Do, can't do it anyway. <laughs>